Welcome to DB Sync. Today we will be looking at Salesforce and Microsoft Dynamics GP integration. DB Sync is the provider of integration solutions that connect SaaS applications to other applications to share, search, and streamline information. Our primary objective is to reduce double data entry across multiple applications. Salesforce and GP integration comes with an out-of-box implementation to integrate accounts and contacts to customers, opportunity and offline to sales order transactions or receivable transactions, products to items, or you can extend any custom object or field into Salesforce to that of any existing GP module, like Time Tracker or Inventory Management in GP. We also provide many other custom options within Salesforce, like managing scheduled invoices, creating PDFs all within Salesforce, and integrating any force.com application like billing, HR, and others. We also support multi-entity implementations like franchises, where we have to support multiple MS Dynamics GP or other accounting systems. We do support multi-currency and also integrations with e-commerce, databases, and others. Now, let's take a look at a quick product demo for integration with Salesforce and GP. To get started, let's go to our website, www.mydbsync.com. If you have not registered, then click on the register for a free trial for 30 days. That gives you free access to our application. Once you have registered, you will receive a username and password, which will give you access and login to DBSync. Click on Customer Login to get started. Once you log into DBSync, Get to your home page, and there you can see the console launch button. Let's click on the launch button, and you will get to our integration console, where you might see a few pre-built integrations. If you don't, click on Process Templates, and you will see quite a few pre-built templates for integration. Find the one for Salesforce and Great Plains and click on View More. Then click on Add Now. Add Now quickly installs the template into your integration console. Let's go back to the console and look at the profiles. The way to think about each profile is for it to represent an integration between application or integration between different divisions or functional areas in your organization, like business intelligence, HR, accounting, and others. We also have a built-in scheduler to enable scheduled runs of your integration process. You can select profiles and process within it and schedule it on any interval you choose. Let's now look at an integration process. Let's click on Edit and we will see some of the adapters ready to be set up. Great Plains connects using eConnect. The settings here point to the eConnect and GP database instance. The port is our internal communication channel and can be left as default settings. Now click on Salesforce Adapter Edit and you will see settings to connect to it. You can either use your production, developer, or sandbox to connect to Salesforce. 
Once you have set up your adapter, you can check connectivity by clicking on the Validate button. Now, let's look at the data flow of the process. As you can see, there are many processes that are pre-built into the application, like moving accounts to customers or products to items and many others. If you drill down into the process, you can see how it's set up. The reader queries Salesforce and then the writer would write to NS Dynamics GP. It also has the capability to transform and write the extracts into other tables. Now, let's look at another integration process to move SOP to Invoice in Salesforce. This process moves SOP transaction in GP into Invoice object in Salesforce. As you can see, we can write eConnect queries to extract data and write it into Salesforce where we will be writing it to a custom Invoice object. Let's look at how the mapping is done. Select the map box and click on Edit. This opens our data mapping screen. As you can see, we have an easy to use data mapping capability. You can select your source and target fields and create formulas to map them. You can use pre built Excel like functions to create simple or complex formulas like loops and others. This gives you great flexibility to transform data from one system to the other. You also have the ability to control which rows you want to process by building a row validation rule, so now you have full control on your data flow. Now that we are ready to see it in action, let's move an opportunity from Salesforce into MS Dynamics GP. Let's see how it's set up in Salesforce. Once you install our template, we add a few custom fields to your opportunity page. These fields provide the basis of integration maps. The key fields are GP transaction, which lets you define the document you will need to generate in GP, which could be an invoice, sales order, or quote. Let's select invoice and save it. Now, let's look at GP. As you can see, there is no invoice with DB Sync 00005 in the instance. Let's go back to DB Sync and see the processes that we want to run. We will run Opportunity from Salesforce to Invoice of GP and reflect the invoice generated back from GP into a custom object in Salesforce. We will be running two processes one after the other. To do so, let's click on Run to manually run the process. Once tested, we can add it to the scheduler. Let's run it. We can also look at what happens behind the scenes. DB Sync interacts with Salesforce and eConnect to pull and push data, interpret the transactions, does the mapping, and applies all the business rules. Once the process is completed, you should be able to see the invoice in Great Plains and the metadata of the invoice in Salesforce. Now that it's completed, let's look at GP. As you can see, DB Sync generated an invoice as DB Sync 0005. Let's open it. You can see that the invoice is moved and the line item created along with all other maps. 
Let's compare it to what we had in Salesforce. You can see that the GP transaction has been marked as updated and a corresponding GP transaction ID reflecting the ID from GP. You will also see a related record for the invoice created. You can drill down into it to see the metadata of the invoice and also an XML dump, which can be used to generate PDF or split and load into other processes. This metadata of the invoice will be kept up to date from GP so that you can see any payments in GP reflected here. That is a quick demo of how we can integrate Salesforce and GP. We can also easily extend to integrate any Salesforce custom object into eConnect supported GP modules like time and expense and others. So with that, we conclude this presentation and we look forward to hearing from you.